Hey there friends, we're back with another video. If you're experiencing hair loss for whatever reason and you want an easy, affordable, and effective treatment, then make sure to stay till the end to know what to do for hair growth. Let us introduce to you the star of the day, the Derma Roller. You might have already heard of this tool and now you're just trying to understand more about it. Well, we are here to give you the details. The Derma Roller is a natural skin rejuvenation and scar repair therapy. If you've got problems with your hair falling off, it might just make multiple hairs grow again. This would make it look thicker and healthier. Using it with a drug called Minoxidil might improve the effects. This is a medication commonly prescribed to treat hair loss. To date, the FDA has approved minoxidil only for a medical condition called androgenetic alopecia. However, minoxidil is used off-label for treating several hair disorders as well as increasing body hair growth. For the scalp, a topical variant called Rogaine is applied once a day along with a dermal roller therapy. Now, it doesn't matter if your hair loss comes from stress or maybe it's some form of hereditary baldness. This combo is proven safe and effective for hair growth. Derma rollers are scientifically proven to enhance hair growth by the process of microneedling. The outer layer of the skin will be pierced by little needles to induce the production of collagen in the skin. Collagen consists of amino acids that hair follicle cells use to produce keratin proteins that promote hair growth and strength. This is, that's right, the reason why it is considered effective to treat hair loss. Now let's dive right into the directions. As you can see, the derma roller has many needles. It comes in this little box and all you have to do is mix it with two types of minoxidil. Minoxidil 1 is more oily and minoxidil 2 has more alcohol in it. For hair loss, it is advisable to use a 0.5 millimeter size when you are using it on your scalp. It comes in this little black box. So first, you have to disinfect. Wash the derma roller in water and soak it in isopropyl alcohol. Roll it around for a few seconds so you're sure it's clean and then let it dry. Make sure you don't damage the needles while cleaning it. This is very important as a bent needle can cause more damage leading to nasty scars. The alcohol dries very fast anyway, so as soon as you're getting it prepared, you should spray or put minoxidil onto your scalp. Just spread it around for about 6 sprays and massage it there. After that, we're gonna use the derma roller in several directions. So again, spread the minoxidil onto your scalp. This could be minoxidil 1 or minoxidil 2 as mentioned earlier. It doesn't really matter. Next, use the derma roller. And then last, you should again spread the minoxidil onto your scalp. Do not forget any part of your head and make sure you use your fingertips to massage into your scalp and not your nails because the needling might hurt already for some people and scratching your head will make it even worse. So... Just to give you an overview, if you are not yet familiar with this tool, the derma roller is actually used for any skin surfaces, face, scars for example, and here we are using it on the head. If you have skin problems, however, this treatment is not recommended. Make sure you talk to your doctor first before using this tool. If you also have very sensitive skin, this is also not very much recommended. Now with a derma roller, you should roll it in at least two different directions. Go back and forward throughout your whole scalp and then go sideways. Do this at least two to three times in each area. Make sure it doesn't hurt too much. There is a tendency for it to bleed but you should know that it is not necessary for it to bleed in order for it to work. You can just put a little pressure while rolling and getting redness on the scalp is considered normal and an expected scenario. After that, we are gonna put more minoxidil and just spread it all around your scalp. You wanna make it worth the pain. Lastly, when you finish, it's cleaning time! Just wash the derma roller under running water, take out any hair attached to it if any, and just like how you cleaned it during preparation, you should also wash it again and disinfect it in the isopropyl alcohol. You can actually use any kind of alcohol as long as it does the work. 
and it is easy to dry. Now all you have to do is be consistent and wait for it to work. This is not a magic tool that would automatically give you thick hair, no. Like any treatment process, this could take months or even years for the effects to be noticeable. So don't give up on your hair goals just because it takes quite some time to see change. Well, that's it for today. We hope we can provide you with many more facts about health and fitness, so be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Click on that bell notification as well so you get updated when we post more videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.